Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this tetherball set. It was actually pretty fast and easy to do. It only took about an hour, um, with the exception of letting the concrete set. So this is a cool little project you can do with the kids and it keeps them entertained if they're kind of bored or maybe they're sitting inside playing on those electronics. Get them outside and get them to play with this. It's so much fun. So now I'm gonna show you what you need and how to build it. For this project, you will need a tire and some plastic. You also need a drill and a trowel, some wire and wire cutters, and about 160 pounds of concrete, a tether ball, a bucket, a pole that's about eight feet long, and a piece of wood. This is also all listed in the video description. Start by placing the piece of wood on the ground, then place the plastic over that, and then set your tire on top. The next thing we'll do is mix up the concrete, so just follow the directions on the back of the bag. Then you will begin by placing the concrete on the inner part of the tire. We really want to make sure that we start on the inner tire and then fill it in so that when we're done, the concrete doesn't slip through the hole. Depending on the size tire you have, 160 pounds should be plenty, but you may need a little bit more, so it'll just depend on the size tire you have. The next thing we're gonna do is drill three holes into the pole. You want two holes at the bottom and one at the top. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that when you drill the hole, it goes all the way through. So you're gonna have it big enough that it'll fit the rebar into it. Uh, once you have the first hole in, you're gonna do the other hole on the opposite side of the pole and about an inch above it. This is so that the rebar can kind of crisscross. Once you have all three holes drilled, then you will want to put in your eye bolt at the very top of the pole. And this is where the tether ball is going to be connected to. At the bottom of the pole, once you've inserted your rebar, you're going to take some of your wire and you're going to start twisting it around the rebar because we don't want it to move around. We want it to be held in place. So just make sure you do one piece for the bottom part of the rebar and one for the top so that they don't move. Then you're going to insert this into the concrete. Now we do recommend that you just kind of place it in there gently and then take the back of either your trowel or a hammer or just something and sort of tap it into the concrete. This way we can make sure that um, it's sitting level and it's completely flat and as far down into that tire as we can get it. The next step is somewhat optional. Um, you can use some wood and some clamps to hold the pole in place, but if your concrete is thick enough and it's set a little bit, the pole should stay in place until it hardens. And that's it. So once the concrete is dry, you can connect that tether ball and the kids and everyone can start playing with it. This is such a fun game. I used to play this all the time when I was a kid and we've had a blast using this so far. We've had little competitions. So this is a great addition to put in your backyard and give everybody something to do other than just kind of sit inside and watch TV. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me a lot. And if you want to see more tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe.